Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another diary entry. Today I wanted to come on and talk about the um, album by TLC, Crazy Sexy Cool, which I read today turned 25, if you can believe it. Um, now I remember this album when it actually came out, I was actually in um, secondary school at the time. Um, but So this has really um, distinct memories for me. Um, but it's just mad to think that it's been, it's, you know, been 25 years since the release of Crazy Sex Call by T obviously TLC. Um, T that TLC um, were obviously a big girl group in the 90s and Crazy Sex Call was their sophomore album. Now typically um, a lot of people face a challenge with their sophomore album. Um, it doesn't live up to the hype of the debut. Um, but TLC didn't see this. Um, you know, they had real success with Crazy Sex Call. And it's now become the best-selling album by a US girl group and it still remains that to this day as far as I'm aware um, if you do know anything different obviously let me know below um, but that just shows how much of a hit the actual album itself was and it really cemented them as superstars um, certainly in the States and um, but also globally like I said I'm from the UK and um, TLC was very popular over here especially the Crazy Sex Call album and the Fan Mail album um, so yeah, I mean, earned them uh, an AMA, Billboard Awards, Grammys, they had number one singles. Um, so, you know, it definitely is um, a, a moment in history, a moment for R&B as well. Um, the album cover is iconic, you know, you see that cover and instantly you know it's TLC, instantly you know it's Crazy Sex of Cool. Um, very classic album. And I think the, the good thing with TLC is each of them kind of complemented each other and they brought something different to the album. Um, so you had Left Eye, you had T-Bars and obviously you had Chili. Um, and they all brought something different. They could all sing, they could all dance. Um, they just had, they had that 90s girl attitude. And I think that's what really um, kind of made them stand out above above some of the other artists and i think um other bands such as destiny's child kind of emulated a lot of what tlc had started um to some to some some degree but um they also had made their own lane which is obviously a separate video but i think tlc um on the whole kind of were trendsetters you know the first single um from the album was creep aesthetically um that that video really set the trend for the, that 90s r&b video look if that makes sense all of the girls look really sexy um and honestly now even now when you watch the video it still has that feel to it it's still really trendy um you know it, it's definitely something that um is iconic when it comes to r&b red light special again um with the iconic electric guitar um it's just you know that when you hear the opening of that song instantly you're taken back to the mid 90s i think it was 95 um or might be 96 when that when the song came out and instantly you're taken back to that that moment in time and you think about what you were doing at that time um, waterfalls which is probably their most iconic song i would probably say um across all of their albums definitely from this album it was the most commercial, um, certainly in the UK. Um, it was on all the on the charts. It was on all the TVs. You saw the videos. It was on the radio all the time. Um, so yeah, I mean that was definitely an, and it's an instru inspirational song as well. Um, so that was definitely something that was big. And then digging on you, which is my personal favourite from that album. Um, it was the final single from the album as well. Um, hit the top five, which was good. And, you know, I, I, I would consider it to be slightly underrated. I think, um, you know, Creep, Red Light Special and Waterfalls, and they're all good all good songs, all four of them. I think they, those three out, really outshine Digging On You, but I really like Digging On You. It's like I said, it's my personal favourite. Um, and I don't think even nowadays that TLC get the, the recognition they deserve. You know, they were so iconic. Um, they had the first album on the TLC tip, um, Crazy Sexy Call, Fan Mail. And then obviously we had the unfortunate passing of Left Eye and that's kind of where things went a little bit. Um, the formula just wasn't there, it wasn't the same. Uh, and obviously when 3D came out, um, some of the tracks didn't have Left Eye on. And I think it was just a sad moment in music and a sad moment for R&B. And I don't think the girls were able to really recover from that. Um, I might go on and do a full full um, discography, discography sorry, video. Um, if that's something that you guys want to see, if it is, please leave a comment below and I'll, I'll certainly put that together. 
but um yeah let me know what you think did you like the uh, crazy sexy call album can you believe it is 25 years old um and also if not did you like any of the other um tlc albums or tlc singles and again if you did drop them below um, i will be dropping some more videos this weekend so keep a lookout for that and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified of when i drop my next videos i'll speak to you guys next time the podcast you just heard was made using anchor ever thought about making your own podcast anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started it's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.